Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Cross Story 2. So, today we're going to try to finish up, as much as we can, the astronomic science build over here. We already placed down the machines that we require. Also, I placed down all the cooling I require, which was a bit more than expected. These machines over here, they do require a lot of cooling. Each one of these requires one thermal fluid per second per machine. We got a total of 30 of them. So that's 30 thermal fluid per second per machine. That times five is 600 thermal fluid per machine or for the whole block. Um, so yeah, wait, what's 30, 60? What did they calculate? It's 30 times five. That's 150. Wait a minute. What the fuck happened over here? <laughs> How did I get this epic miscalculation in? <laughs> no, not again. Why does it keep happening? I thought for sure this was more than that. Um, no, I guess not. Yeah, we need 1 per second, 30 per second, and then times 5.6 is 150 per second. One of these over here makes, what is it, 20 per second at a crafting speed of 11.2. So we basically only need this part. This over here is extra. <laughs> We do need a little bit more for here. Maybe, maybe this is the culprit. Let's look at you. We do need a little bit more for here. We do need, ah, five per second over here. Oh, I think I see where the calculation went wrong. Five per second over here. And we got five of them. So 25 per second at the crafting speed of 5.6. That is still 125. So yeah, we need at least three of these blocks. The fourth and five, fifth block over there. We might not need. However, keep in mind, we do need cold thermal fluid over here. Cold over there. Super cooled over here for the comprehensive catalogs, of which we want to make four per second. That also means we need to make 40 super cooled thermal fluid per second. Yeah, that's not a lot. Um, then again, that's fine. This is not really a misbuild. We can just remove like this thing and that thing, and then we get the cold liquid that we need for the other buildings. So we can we can salvage it. We can salvage it. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> My bad. These things over here, we are only waiting on the error frame scaffold. We got a station for that over here, but there was a bit of an issue with the error frame scaffold build. If we go over here to where the error frames are, they are, I think, over here. Yes, they are over here. Uh, we can see that nothing is working over here, mostly because we are out of beryllium plate. Beryllium plate is a thing that we are making over uh, there. <laughs> And the beryllium plate build over here is working again as fast as it can. It's not an optimized build yet. We can probably make this even better than that. But for now, it's making a decent amount of a beryllium plate. So we just have to wait for this thing to fill up and then start to move it around. The big issue was we were out of vulcanite. And the reason we were out of vulcanite was because one signal was a bit weird. Uh, I fixed that. So now we're not out of vulcanite. To be exact or precise, over here on Turkman... The refueling train, this one over there, did not go up to the space platform over here to refuel this tank over there. So the rocket over here didn't go, so we were just not sending out any Vulcanite. The Vulcanite production on Turkmen, however, is going very fine. If we go back over here, yeah, that sounds awesome. Don't see all the machines working at the moment, at least not all the critical machines. The critical machines are actually these over here. As long as you are working 24-7 non-stop, then that is perfectly, perfectly, perfectly fine. We might want to put some better productivity modules on you sooner than later. Good, 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 good. But yeah, this place over here is doing fine. While we're here, let's have a quick checkup on resources. Oh, yeah, there's loads of it around. <laughs> we don't need to worry about it at all. Good, 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 good. Perfect. So, what do we need over here? Well, we are already making the gravitational lensing data. So, nothing to be done over here. As for over here, we do need to get some of the gravitational lensing data over here into this setup, as well as the negative pressure data. Negative pressure data is what's being made over there, so we have to wait for the scaffolds before we can do that. And you over there, you require nothing. You are already working. Good. Perfect. Which means a couple things we need to do. For one, we need to make sure that we get together our junk data over here. And we need to move it somewhere nice. If we make, well, we, I think we make 8 per second of negative pressure data. Maybe a little bit more than that. Which will also mean we make 0.8 junk data per second. So not a lot of uh, junk data over there. 
Over here, on the other hand, we definitely want to make four gravitational wave, per gravitational wave data per second, and we make about twice the amount of junk data. That's eight per second. That is a significant amount. We should not ignore that. As for over here, um, yeah, we definitely want to make four dark matter data per second. That also means we do make four junk data as well as 0.4 broken data. Now, the broken data, uh, we do have a recycling center right over here. The broken data, we can immediately put in over there. And everything else will just go into this belt. Maybe just plonk it in right over there. Let's maybe start from there. Here, let's, let's get you in. Here we go. And then we need to get this belt connected somewhere over here. And I can already see a sneaky way through here. A sneaky way through there. And then we just pull this thing all along, all the way over here. Perfect. It could work. It could work fine. Let's work with that. All right. We do need to spice off the junk data before we get to that because we're going to put all the data on the same belt. So we do need something like you say. Yeah, over here is fine. And then output, uh, output priority over there, which is going to be the junk data, which is sitting over there. Not the junk data, the broken data cards. There we go. And then. Let's make the magic happen. There we go. That should be fine. <laughs> Something like that. Good, 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 good. Actually, if you think about it, wait a minute. You are... Oh, you're emitting blank data cards. That's the other part that goes around over here. We're not getting any blank data out of that one over there. So we don't need to worry about that. Good, 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 good. All right. So we just need to collect everything up and pull it over. We can use this as the main input belt. And then let's maybe build it step by step. Well, actually, no, this will be fine. You just go this way. I guess we do want to have something like you over there with an output priority at the top. And over here, we put in the classic deconstruction planner. Where's that thing? There it is. So nothing goes up there. Perfect. That's you connected up. And then we got... The garbage output over there. Actually, you know what would be fine over here? Just turn it around. Let's have a check. Yeah, it's the bottom belt. Just turn it around. Go this way. Same for you. Let's check again. It's the bottom belt. Just turn it around and... Ooh. Well, that's kind of sexy. <laughs> I like that. There we go. There we go. It just matches up like that. Good. We get more junk data from over there. We could also just turn this belt around and that belt around, merge them together and get them down over here. Let's do that. So you over there. Yeah, it is that belt. The bottom belt. Turn you all the way around. Same for you. Turn around. There we go. Oop. Don't build you over there. Then we go down. Then we go down. Then we merge them together. We go back this way. We go back this way. We place another one of these over there. And we just splice it in. Good. Good, 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 good. Perfect. And I think we get some more junk data over there. And this junk data, we're just going to connect up with this belt. I think that will be fine. So you over there. We're also going to be turning you around. And in you go. Perfect. That will take care of all the waste materials. And we don't need to worry about them anymore. Good. Uh, I do kind of hope that we can see, at least see this train over here come over. I mean, maybe we can force a train. There is this other train over there, which still has some supply in it. So we could maybe just send you over there real quick. And then force you to go to this request over here. So we can at least get some data in. So that we can at least see this whole thing over here start working as expected. Good. Now, the only thing we need to do now is to make a reasonable amount of catalog making machines because we got now all the data together. Everything is available over here. We just need to turn it into catalogs. Now, we already got this machine over there, which we can use for catalogs. We need one of these for the catalogs mark one. We need two of these for the catalogs mark two, three of these for the catalogs mark three, and four of these for the final catalog. Uh, that will also probably mean that we need to extend the platform over here a bit. Ah, 
That maybe should be something I should have done beforehand. Good. But then again, yeah, let's just go for it. We are probably also going to need a couple of these. Because I think the bots might need a recharge point. So let's just make a wall like this. Perfect. Let's find ourselves... Uh, let's do this one over there. Just give me the tiles. Thank you very much. Make sure we're aligned. Something like that. And we are probably also going to have to extend the grid out a bit by hand. So let's get the grid. Here we go. Make sure it aligns. Click and hold. That should be fine. That should be fine. Let's check what we can do over here. All right. I can obviously see a whole bunch of bots flying around. They're going to have some fun. Uh, I think we need to extend the grid. Either a little bit more or we just cut this over here a little bit more. Actually, let's just extend the grid out one more. I think that will be easier. Mm, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Because then it will also connect up to this part over there. And then we have a full-blown grid. Good, 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 good. Also, a random bot died over there. <laughs> There's so much junk flying in space. It's, it's, oof. Uh, we are being, we we're being absolute space messies over here. Good, 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 good. Uh, that should be fine. That should be fine. Yeah, most of the time these bots will be recharging over here. That's just how it's going to go. Do we get... I forgot. Do, do we get a better recharging point at some point in time? Oh, we do. The advanced robot port. Ooh. We do need uh, Material Science Pack 3 for that, but a large robot port over here would be very good. Even a small robot port, but a large robot port over here will allow us to recharge up to 20 bots with 5 megawatts each. Ooh. I'm looking forward to that. But for now, this over here will be fine. Good. Did we get a train shipment? We did get a train shipment. We did get a little bit of data over there. I'm a little bit surprised. Oh, you're backed up. Wait a minute. What happened over here? No, something is very wrong. Wait a minute. Where did you come from? Oh, it's coming from you. You're making... Ah, oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> oh, why are you making cool thermal fluid and not warm thermal fluid? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't notice that. Cut this connection. Uh, get this out of the system. That will make sure that we can start flushing this around. And you start to operate again. What do we do with you then? Well, technically... It goes in something like this. Maybe we just give you your own little cooling system. I mean, you don't really need much. What do you need? You need like 5 per second per machine. Uh, okay, we already calculated that. It's 5 per second per machine. Uh, 25 in total times basically 6. Uh, 150 per second. Mm. Big problem we have over here is... That we don't intend to inject into... Well, actually, we can set that up. If we just do this and this, wait a minute, here. We have the opportunity to do so. Uh, this will be a bit yank, but that's fine. Actually, it will be perfect. So we keep it like this. You are only going to activate if everything in here is, say, less than... 500 so we always keep like a little bit of it in here so these can keep on cooling and you then well that will also mean that that's a bit of the, an issue we have right now all of the firm of liquids over here is basically one big network i don't think that's a good idea i think that's a horrible idea so we're gonna cut this connection over here and we're just gonna make you direct connect like this this will be its own new connection. We already said that this part of it here, starting from over there, we, we don't want this anymore. Because we don't need the super cool liquid over there. We need the less cool liquid. So when we get rid of all of this, I think we can pull you down by one. Yes, we can. And then we're automatically a little bit lower. And we can sneak the pipe in all the way over there. So let's do that. Oh, well, not like that. <laughs> Uh, this will be fine. And then just make it a little bit of a convoluted mess over there. 
And then we're just gonna pull you along. Oh, there's another pipe going underground over there. Uh, we don't actually need to go that far. Mm. We could try to go down straight over here, actually. Because this is where we need to be. So let's do that. And then you go underground. Connect to a nine pipe. There we go. That should be fine. All right. So you're now connected to your own thing. Perfect. And then we got your own output over there, which needs to go all the way back over there. Good. Um, yeah, let's pick up these pipes. We don't need them. A little bit sad that we have to vent that little bit of thermal fluid, but then again, yeah, there, there's nothing much we can do about that. Good. And then we need to go in over there. So we can get the underground like this. Perfect. Maybe also an underground like this, just to cover the gap over there. You. 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 Excellent. And now this whole system over here is working as expected. Good. Looking over here. Oh, look at all the data. There is so much data over there. We need to distribute the data. We need the data over here. And we also need part of it going somewhere else. It's a 50-50 split. So we just take both of these belts when they come together. And then we do the 50-50 split right over there. Mm, we can also cut you a bit. Cut you a bit. Rotate you a bit. Oh, wait. No, actually, don't rotate you. You are exactly what we need. You're the output belt. <laughs> Good. Add a bit around the corner, but that should be fine. Good. And then we need you over here. We do need two distinct input data over here because we also still need the gravitational lensing data. So this belt over there of stuff goes down. Goes all the way over here. And then we combine you up over here. Then this data over there. If you maybe not do it that crass, thank you very much. Not like that. Go up by one. Same thing over here. This will also be a 50-50 split. 50% will go into the half and half belt we require over here. And 50% will go to wherever we need the signs. So you go like this. You go... Like this. <laughs> We're going to do the reach around over here. There we go. You go down. And let's save the underground. Because these are kind of expensive. Then we do the flip over there. We pick up these two. Excellent. And then we do the same thing over here. You go down. You go over. Then we pick up these two. And then we're going to be good. Perfect. Which only means that we need to connect up you. Somewhere like this, and you somewhere like this. Good, 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 good. And then this belt over there goes to wherever we're going to be making the signs. How's the platform looking? Okay, the bots are still working on the platform, but they're almost done. Yeah, most of the time they will spend their time recharging over here, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, so be it. So be it. Good, 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 good. All right. Back to this thing over here. Now, things we need. We're going to need three, four sta Probably three or four train stations over there. We're probably going to go with four right away. We need one of these for the catalog one. And let's maybe make it in a place where we can adjust things a little bit. Let's just place you over here. Yeah, there's, there's no reason to not place you here. We need two of these blocks for the catalog two. Three of these blocks for the catalog three. And four of these blocks for the catalog four. Keep in mind, the Catalog 1 and Catalog 2, they require cold thermal fluids, so they can actually run on the same system. We can actually place these, more or less, back to back, like this. And they're going to be super duper happy. Then we can start thinking about placing... Oh, this, this is going to be tight. Ugh. We need three of these. Hmm... I mean, this is the place where we need to put them. 
but I suspect we're gonna have a couple of issues connecting this up correctly. There's also the rubble ports in the way over there, but we can just remove those rubble ports. Yeah, get out of here. That will be for the science tree. And you know what? For now, this is fine because we still need to do some science builds over here for the science four, and then we can maybe make another station. So yeah, this, this will be fine. This will be very fine. We will probably need to flip around a couple of belts. We do need to get... Ooh. Oh, actually, look at this. We got the space over here. We go down, we go this way, and then we can probably hook up everything we need. That will be fine. That will be very fine. I love it. I'm going to look forward to this one. Good. Uh, we got these weight gaps over here. Let's, let's hook them up. I'm actually a little bit surprised that we have these weight gaps. You would be thinking... That we could just hook them up straight away. Ah, I see why we got some weird gaps. You do not need to exist over there. There we go. Just some on the fly enhancements. There we go. There we go. Also, ah, shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> problem is that these machines are going to touch. The beacons are touching. These beacons over here like this will not touch. Will your beacon touch? Your beacon will touch. Oh, that's, that's oof. It needs to be down by one. Here we go. Yeah, sorry, we have to rebuild this real quick. What was the reason why we built it over there like that? Because we wanted... There was no reason whatsoever. There was no reason. The best kind of reason. No reason required. If we align it like this, this might be better. Good. And then another one over there. Another one over there. That seems to be working fine. Is anything breaking over there? Nope, perfect. And then we can get you in again. And this time we're just going to place you up a little bit higher. You can still place you on the same height. Maybe, maybe not that high. There we go. And then start planting you over there, over there. Oh, they, they re wanted to rebuild the robot ghosts. Don't build us, please. There we go. Much better. Much better. Sorry about that. <laughs> Good. Take this thing. Flip it around. You go for there. We will probably have to rotate a couple of these belts. I have the feeling we have to rotate all of them. <laughs> yes, we have to flip all of them. The more I look at it, the more I realize that, that there will be a, a significant amount of flipping over here. Uh, the, and you know what? Maybe don't build these. The inputs and the outputs over there, we're still going to be reusing them, but we will have to put in the belt over here manually. There we go. There we go. And then flip these accordingly. Good, 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 good. All right. Bots, make me this. This is what we want. All the catalogs, please. Good. Um. Okay. Important number one. We don't have any of this. For the science pack number one, or the catalog number one, we need the infrared observation data, the visible observation data, the UV observation data, and the astronomic data. We are already getting half and half belts over there. Ooh, I kind of mixed and matched them how I like thought it would be correct. We might have an issue over here. Let's go all the way to the end of the belt because it's kind of hard to see what's where. So for the first pack, we need the orange stuff, the green stuff, and the light blue stuff. Orange stuff. Orange stuff, the green stuff, and the... Why is this a full belt? It should be half and half of every fit. That's why. Also, why is there junk data on here? Oh, are we getting junk data out of these? Wait, no, wait, what? Huh? One moment, please. Something must be wrong. Uh, I mean, it's not coming from these. Uh, there's a belt over here, I know that. Well, it's gone now. 
but there is random pieces of junk data on this line on this line it might just be contamination you're making both you're making scrap wait it doesn't matter it should all be folded out of there what the fuck <laughs> excuse me Mm, yeah, that should all be filtered out and go somewhere else. So where's it coming from? That's a good question. Because we also, we mo oh, wait a minute. We see it on the belt of the data modules. So I guess the feedback belt over here for the data modules has a contamination going on for it. Let's go all the way back over here real quick. Data modules will be over here. And I've got the feeling if we watch this belt, we might occasionally see something bad going down the belt over here. Not seeing anything yet, but that would actually also mean that we will have junk data on any of these belts. But to be perfectly honest, that's also something we don't want to really see. Oh god, where's it coming from? <laughs> no! <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare finding this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Why is the junk over here? You are getting junk out? Oh, are we not filtering that out? You're getting junk? That's getting filtered out? But what about this belt? You also, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, actually, over here it's correct. Over here it's correct. Never mind. It's not correct over here. And we don't see the junk over here. We only see the junk over there. Or am I starting to imagine things? Wait. Where did the junk go? I must be going crazy. Am I going crazy? Please tell me if I'm going crazy. I must be going crazy. All right, it's official. I'm going crazy. <laughs> Let's keep it at that then. <laughs> good, 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 good. But yeah, this is actually a half and half data of blank data. That will be fine. We still need blank data uh, further down over here. We need the blank data for who again? Who needs blank data over here? Ooh, these machines are lovely. Am I going even more crazy? Somebody required blank data over here. Oh, you know what? I think it was the... A later data over there. Yeah, the micro black hole data over here requires blank data cards. That's where we get it from. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Oof. All right, uh, seeing as I actually go crazy and seeing that these things over here are now somewhat working and we're waiting on this thing over here to finish up, I think we're going to call it over here. These machines over here will be running the Mark II catalog. There we go. All of them. You as well. Same for these machines over there. Mark II catalog. There we go. And these machines over there will be running the Mark III catalogs. Good, 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 good. And the only thing we need to do over there is to make sure that we connect up all of the data they require. All of the data is available, so again, I will probably be doing that um, off camera real quick so that we then finally have all the catalogs over here coming together so that we can make data catalogs Mark 1, Mark 2, and Mark 3 as much as we want. Good! That will be it for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this channel into something bloody amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash worldviking where we do even more Factorio. We're currently doing still a whole bunch of Pyanons over there. Wednesdays are getting more into a, a variety role where we do all kinds of games and Fridays will mostly be turn-based games. So if you're also interested in that, get over there, check it out for yourself. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening and until next time, see you around!